<laughs> I know. <sighs>Two. what's going on all right right off the bat I got to apologize I had some steak a, a steak tonight okay I dripped some beef juices on my shirt somewhere man so welcome back hello YouTube if I said that I don't know beef juices on my shirt I got a new figure to talk to you about today sergeant Creel agent 5241 of scar squadron uh, he's a he's he's a foot member of the 501st uh, plumbers union or something. He's Darth Vader's. What did I almost say? I don't know. Darth Vader's like right hand man, stormtrooper with a lightsaber. Okay, they scratch the surface with Finn in the in the new trilogy. I love Finn. So much more they could have done. I love when stormtroopers specifically have backstories. <clears throat> become their own characters like we saw in Clone Wars with Rex and Cody and uh, Wolf and Fives and, uh, and Echo. Yeah, those guys. I I'd love to see Creel in current continuity. Unfortunately, as far as I know, he's only, only in the uh, comics, extended universe. I'm sure there's a sweaty out there that's going to be like, actually, there, he's, he's been used in the new... I don't know. But maybe, maybe he has... Correct me if I'm wrong. In the comments, do it. Stormtrooper with a lightsaber, he fights Luke in the comics. Zap. Zap. This was a great project. What you're about to see is just the raw sculpt, so I wanted to specifically focus on the sculpting of this figure because it's, it's at first glance, it's minimal. You think it's an easy project. It's not. And that was the point of this, was to not take, I wanna, I wanna make sure that you learn the lesson that I learned before I learned it, so whatever. And that is, uh, don't take simplicity for granted. Less is more, that's the route I always try to take. But that less that you're making, that less, you need to make more. Does that make sense? I don't know. So, you'll see here the sculpted details that I did. It's all pre-paints, keep that in mind. And his accessories are all still loose on him, uh, and I'm going to show you that in the video. Uh, but it was a great project. I love Star Wars. Sergeant Creel, uh, I wasn't as familiar with when I got the, pro the commission, but I do all, every with every commission I do my research and I look at stuff and look at pictures and I read comics and I watch movies and TV shows and all that stuff, whatever I can do. So check it out. I'm about to explain it. AC, take it away. All right, so here I've got Creel completely disassembled. Uh, so you can see exactly what I did. He is a basic six inch Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper. And I've got him disassembled so I can reassemble him while I'm talking, showing you guys what I did. But I want to start with the sculpt of the body. And as you can see, the majority of it came to the chest, went to the chest and the abdomen. Uh, I started off with my usual uh, joint prep as far, uh, the biggest joint prep went into the ab crunch underneath the chest so that he can clear what I've sculpted after I've painted it without scratching it. Um, the, I also took ch little chunks out of, cut little bits out of the line, the, the vertical line that uh, comes down on the leg so that the straps can fit in there without bulging too far out. Uh, what else did I do? From there, oh, and then I also, all the stormtroopers have a ridge on their shoulder pad, and I sanded that down, because that's how Creel's usually are. Uh, from there, I just sculpted. I did it in layers, and so I did, I dremeled down the chest and the abdomen to make room for the sculpting armor, sculpted armor, so that it's not too bulbous and sticking out. You can see the lines where the sculpt ends. Okay that is appropriate to his armor. Uh, I did the chest, the ab part, in one sitting, once that cured with the line, the detailed lines in there. Then I went back and I did the raised areas, these four little uh, 
designs there, or details. Uh, I did the straps first and then came back with the pockets. You can see there's a bit of detail in the pockets, give them kind of a leathery look. Uh, what else? The arm bands came first, one, two, three. And then I did the pocket over that once that cured. And then also the uh, what, what will be a screen sort of readout. Uh, the inlay first and then the outer um, framing, I guess, of it came last. And that's probably, that's, that is all the sculpt that I did uh, using Abe's two part epoxy and not the stuff that's back there that's super sculpted. Let me grab that for you. So here's my Abe's two part uh, epoxy that I used A and B. Mix it together uh, till it's one color. And you guys have seen me that you can check out previous videos for exactly how to use this stuff. But I also have started using Abe's safety solvent a lot. And what it does is it almost melts the epoxy uh, as opposed to water gives it like a grainy touch when you try to smooth it out. This stuff is specifically for use with the two-part epoxy from Aves. Uh, and it's just, it's a great product. I used to use water and water works, it's fine. But like I said, it makes a little grainy. And then my main tools that I use, the dentist tool, sculpting tools, uh, and then the silicone, there we go. And the silicone brushes. One, this one's flat. And the pointer one. Those are my main sculpting tools, along with my X Acto knife. This is my best friend right here. He uses rubber. Anyway, uh, so that's what went into the sculpting. Let me build this guy for you. So pop on his pauldron, his head, his belt. That'll be glued. His gun. His lightsaber, which is a custom lightsaber. Uh, this is part of Ray's staff and then a blade. Creel's lightsaber is green, so that's why it's green. I don't know whose it is or where he got it from. That's probably in the comic. Um, and then the last thing I did, he has a jetpack. And I made him a jetpack. And it looks pretty much exactly like that with the four um, after burn, uh, whatever outlets, whatever you call them. And that just pegs in. I made the peg. This is a uh, three and three quarter inch snow trooper from Force Awakens, I think, or one of the new movies. Um, but his jetpack is supposed to be small. And it just pegs into the back here and stays very well. All right, and that's Creel. Give him, give him a nice little. Layer. So I hope you all enjoyed that deep in thought, Jack Handy, I don't know what I'm saying, look at the sculpt of my Sergeant Creel custom figure. Uh, the finished figure is already in the hands of the happy client and I appreciate uh, all the projects that I get. This was an awesome one because I love Star Wars and there is no Sergeant Creel figure out there. So mine is not the first custom, but uh, I always love working on stuff that doesn't exist to the mass market, um, especially since all my stuff is one of a kind. Uh, it, just, it just sort of adds to my library, you know, my little Rex uh, lines on my, I don't know, one, two, three, four, slash five, on my belt, on my head, wherever you want to put them. Uh, if you guys have any clicks left in your fingers, please like, subscribe, bell icon. We still don't know. Have your people talk to my people. Uh, if you would like to support the channel and see more videos more often, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash acToydesign. Uh, you can sign up for as little as a buck a month. That helps on the grand scheme of things. It gets you exclusive content I post almost daily. That includes behind the scenes tutorials, articles, Q and A's, uh, sandwiches, uh, resin projects, everything I do, and uh, no sandwiches, sorry, that was a lie. And it's home of the Patreon exclusive, my Patreon exclusive to you uh, podcast, You Like Toys. And I know you like toys, 
because you're watching this. So check it out, patreon.com slash AC Toy Design. If you like toys podcast, all kinds of stuff. It's a great community. And if you are part of that community, you're watching this right now. Thank you so much for being there. I appreciate you. Um, you flatter me. So, seriously. Uh, and I think that's all I got for you today. All right? You okay? I'm going to head out. All right. I'll see you in the future. Boom. That was slick. Slick. Slick Rick.